Hey everybody, welcome back to another operator guide. This one's for Dokabi. We've been a little inactive on the channel. I apologize for that. Main thing is season just started, so everything's just a little slow right now. There's not a lot of news to cover. There's not a lot of new operators to really talk about. There's just not a lot of content to make around this game whenever I make videos about like tips and stuff. So while yes, I still do have a lot of operators to make these guides on, and you guys seem to find them very useful, which is great for me. I love hearing that. There's only so many operators, you know. So bear with me, we'll get back to uploading. I'm not not quitting Siege, I'm not quitting YouTube, but it comes in cycles, you know. But anyways, we're going to be covering Dokubi today. We're on our alt account. That's why it's so low level. Don't mind that. But as always, we're going to go over the loadout. We're going to go over the gadget. We're going to go over some play styles, some strategies that you could incorporate into your game today because this is an operator that's been in the game for a while. As you guys can see, year two, season four in white noise is when this operator came out. She's been out for three years now. And if you haven't used her yet, then this is an operator you need to hop on because it is a great operator operator first of all and second of all the logic bomb gadget is just can be so overpowered now they change her loadout a lot but we're gonna hop into that first there is only pr one primary weapon that you could really get away with and it's not the boss g i'm sorry the boss g is a fun weapon to use if you're memeing around but that is not the case in most situations you instead are going to use the mk14 which is a dmr which is a, a also a very good DMR, by the way. But it is equipped with the 3X scope first and foremost. The muzzle brake is a great option for it. An angled grip. I would do an angled grip with this one. You're going to want to scope in as fast as possible. This is a gun where you really have to have that trigger finger to get it going. But once you do get it down, basically two bullets till they're dead if you hit them in the chest or anything like that. Or it's just a one-shot headshot like every other gun. The only downfall of this operator is there's no AR operator, AR gun that you could use. There's no AR choice. You could use the secondary which is the SMG-12, but once again, this gun is wild, and I actually like using the GON-6. I really enjoy this new gadget. It's pretty fun to use, only one capacity, but it will destroy anything. Now, unfortunately, with that, they take away frag grenades for all the operators that get the GON-6, and Dokubi, you guessed it, got the GON-6, so they took away the frag grenades. But anyways, you still have stuns or smokes. I personally think that stuns are pretty good to go with Dokubi because first of all, you're calling, and whenever you call, it makes a really loud sound, and then you can stun the person if you hear the call around you. So basically that person is pretty much screwed. They're blind, they're deaf, there's nothing they can really do. So the stuns for me. Now, before we hop into the gadget, I just wanna remind you guys, this isn't the best beginner operator. You kinda of have to have a little bit of game knowledge. You have to be able to call at the right times. I know there's plenty of people with Lion, Dokubi, Finca, any of those guys. You load into the match and they instantly click that and you're like, well, that was cool. That was completely useless. You wanna do this when you're either pushing into site, your teammate asks for it in specific, that's probably a good Good time to do it and then of course if you're like planting or something you, you're trying to disguise a sound calling the other team is a great option because that disguises everything on the map so guys let's talk about the gadget first now i don't really need to hop into a custom game to describe this i'm just going to do it anyways but you have two phone calls and this animation right here once you're done with that that is going to call the enemy team the calls last a duration of 12 seconds total from the time you hit this and how long they read is 12 seconds. Now, they could always pick up that, and if they do pick it up, they will be forced into an animation, which will then turn off their phone, but they are stuck in animation until then. The whole point of this, though, is one, to reveal the location of others, two, have them not be able to hear anything because all they hear is the phone buzzing, and three, the last thing that a lot of people don't know is whenever you find a dead body, you're gonna see a little phone thing, just like the thing I'm gonna show you guys on the screen right here, a little phone, and when you see this phone, you're able to go up to it and this is called the hacking feature for the defender's phone so this takes five seconds and once you actually get that your entire team will be able to see everything from the cameras so if, as long as you haven't destroyed all the cameras yet these cameras you can hop on now and they are your asset so you will get access to every single camera on the map that is a huge deal with this because well one you're going to get access to valkyrie cams bulletproof cams maestro cams normal cctv cams so you're going to be able to see a lot and two the enemy team usually doesn't think to shoot their own cameras and most of the time unless if you're in a higher rank which if you're watching this video this is more beginner based obviously from what you're seeing they're not going to know what to do whenever they're getting spotted they're not going to shoot their own camera for the most part until they actually realize that uh of course that happened even more experienced players sometimes i don't see them shoot the camera if they don't shoot the camera then you have free visibility like if the site's here and you plant right here you basically can make comms with their own camera just by being dokubi so dokubi has huge power so every single round with dokubi you're going to want to find someone that gets a kill you don't want to get first taken out first ever with dokubi so you're going to want to find someone with a kill so for example if we spawn over here in sites upstairs or something like that 
and we're just kind of chilling on this walkway and your teammate gets a kill in this logistics storage room before doing anything else before risking death go in here and hack them get the cameras once you have the cameras you are already better than 80 percent of all dokubi players and that's the number one gameplay tip i can give you please do your role get the hacked cameras there's always going to be someone that dies before you as long as you're not rushing with dokubi as you should not be rushing with dokubi but as long as you are on top of that get the hack then you can continue on do your thing looking into sight and be a team player if you have smokes you can smoke out you can also of course call the defenders phones there's just so many things with dokubi that you could do now as for who dokubi can help this is more an advanced thing that you don't know unless if you're more advanced in the game iq can really help because you can see through the walls iq will be able to pull up her little iq thing if you haven't watched my iq mastery do it go ahead and watch that one but IQ will be able to see the phones through the wall whenever you call them, of course, because when you call them, the phone will be buzzing, so therefore it's electronic, and IQ will be able to see it. Another thing that's really good to pair with Dokubi is Jackal, because you could be tracking and calling the same person at the same time. Now that is pretty scummy to do, and you might get a lot of trash for that. I mean, throw a line in there and then you might actually have someone toggle hacks on you and start freaking out, but that is just a way to go about it. Now, as for a tip that you guys wanna do if you are playing a Dokubi is you're gonna wanna be mute. If you stand on a mute disruptor, you will not get called, you won't get uh, lion scanned, you won't get anything like that because that is a really big advantage with mute. Mute is just such a powerful operator. I'm gonna tell you guys that once over and again. Now, lastly, the final thing I wanna talk about with Dokubi is when do you use the calls, okay? The first answer is, hopefully you get this right is not right when you spawn in don't just call the correct answer is one use your first call when you are entering the building or your teammates are entering the building to begin roam clearing so if you are roam clearing from gym all the way over once they get into gym and done the first drone once you get over here this would be a good time to call because if you call you will hear someone in either the bathroom you'll hear someone on the stairs you'll hear someone in the lodgy you'll hear someone in the bedroom so it'll clear pretty much the entirety of what they're trying to clear without them actually having to do anything and now that no one actually can't be heard by the phone call like echo used to not be able to actually be called but now he can there's literally no one that can't so the second phone call should be whenever you are entering into site your final push into site just for that last distraction this would be the best time to throw in everything first do your dokubi and then a little later do your line call and then you are set to go and basically i mean the team is going to be so annoyed with all of the stuff going on that they are probably going to panic it's just going to make everything a lot more tense than it has to be for them which is always a good thing put them in uncomfortable positions so that is all for dokubi hopefully you learned at least one thing from this hopefully at least one thing and if you guys want to check out the whole playlist we go into depth on every single operator so go ahead and check out the entire playlist it's a pretty fat playlist there's a lot a lot of videos on that playlist we're almost done with every operator actually we have quite a few to do but we uh, we're done with most useful operators what i should say so go ahead and check that out and remember to subscribe to the channel have a great rest of your day and i'll see you guys in the next video peace